What is going on guys? Kagan Fishing here back with another video. I say that every time I think. <laughs> I don't know. I just like the intro when it's just like back with another one because it's you know I'm out here I'm fishing I'm grinding but as you can see it's already really bright outside. I got down to the launch the winds were looking great started unloading the skiff and then I realized I didn't have any of my camera gear. I left it at home. First time I've done that but uh, luckily I'm not at a real far place uh, so I was able to blast back to the house when I realized it grabbed my gear and it still should be a pretty nice day all day today. Uh, the wind switched out of the north for a little bit this morning. Since I'm late let's go get on those fish. I'm at the first spot, so I've consistently caught some decent fish here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull down. I am gonna primarily drift fish today. Um, I've, I've been on the hunt for trout. That's been my go-to recently, what I'm trying to figure out, what I'm trying to learn, is how to catch those bigger trout. And I feel like that's one of the harder fish to really get on consistently. So I'm gonna start with some top water. I caught a really nice trout the other day on this guy it's a super spook pink back silver sides so i'm just going to start throwing and hopefully pick up some nice trout to start the day so the tide is ripping in currently so i'm just gonna i'm casting up against the tide and working my bait down with it like if it was a natural fish going with it the water clarity is really nice today it's like an off green a little stain in it but for this area, it looks pretty nice. Pretty happy with it. Now, does that mean I'll catch fish? You never know. Fish on. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Dang, I looked away right when he hit it. Oh yeah, nice trout, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's that top water bite, son. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Top water trout bite number one of the day. This guy looks like he's been fighting and getting all scrappy like, my goodness. Yeah, yes. Not even 15 minutes into the day and already land a solid trout on top water. They're liking that color right now. They are. From the other day to today, they consistently like it. And that was a blow up. I think I looked away right when he hit it. Uh, I just heard it and then set the hook. But man, there's nothing like a good top water bite. Oh yeah, that feels good. So I, I'm gonna fish here a little longer, absolutely. Fish is going in the box. Gonna have some nice dinner tonight. I might bring you guys a little catch and cook. So stay tuned through the video to watch that. Oh man talk about that feels good that feels real real good first bite of the day let me inspect my quick clip it's looking good man first bite of the day nice 20 inch trout oh dude that's hard to beat you know been fishing for about 15 minutes nothing like a good top water nice trout my goodness dude that's some good stuff right there that's real good stuff. Oh, that was a miss. Oh, dang, that was a nice trout. Come on, come back and eat it. Oh, you missed it again? Come on, come on. Eat it. 
Oh, that was another miss. How are you missing it? So that's another cool thing, guys, with top water. When they hit like that, you can just pause your retrieve and slow it down. And most of the time, they'll come back for it. And if they miss the first time, they'll get it the second time. Well, obviously, that one did not. It <laughs> missed four times. But, man, it's just awesome to see those blow-ups like that. Just hear that suck sound down into the water. That one's on. There we go. Got it that time. This is a pretty good trout right here. Pretty good trout. I don't think it's as big as the last one, but still a very nice, respectable trout in the net. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Woo! They're liking this top. They are liking this top water. Man, this guy was hooked. Right in the corner, two hooks in him. That's good stuff right there. Dude, another keeper fish, not as big as the last one, but still definitely a solid 16 inch trout. Man, this <laughs> top water fishing, dude. Springtime top water fishing for trout. Hands down, one of the funner things you can do. Seriously, man, it feels good. You know whenever you've been out fishing really hard in really crappy conditions and you finally get the opportunity to go out when it's nice. You know, I always feel like whenever I go out after a bunch of crappy conditions and it's nice, I'm usually not crazy successful, but um, today the fish gods have bestowed upon me a successful day. Alrighty, even if I don't catch another fish, oh my, there was another blow up while I'm talking. Even if they don't uh, grant me with any more fish, which it looks like they might, it's just, it's nice being out here and just the bonus is right now getting these topwater trout bites. That is just too, too freaking fun. And another one just missed right at the boat. As soon as I turned off the GoPro, oh, and it's on. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I was about to say, and as soon as I turned off the GoPro, something hit at it. And sure enough, dude, right at the boat, look at that. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Just like that. <laughs> that, was, that was the first cast after catching that last fish. Dead serious. Today is just one of those days, man. And just like that, trout number three in the boat, uh, another 16 inch respectable trout. That first one was the best, hands down. But man, it just, it feels good to get on these trout. We'll see if I can pull out a limit of trout today, which will be the first time in a very, very long time limiting in trout. Uh, I might've just jinxed myself saying that, but we're, today's just, it's just working. It's just working. All right, and here we go again. Let's see if I can get another one on top water. Oh man, I looked to the right and missed the blow up. <laughs> come on, come back for it. You're dedicated. Dang, dude. Come back for it. Dang it. That was a pretty solid trout too. You can tell like whenever it's those smaller guys, they'll nab at it. That guy went for it for sure. All right, let's remake that cast. Whoo, man. That just, whew, get your heart pumping when you hear that blow up. Oh, that was a miss again. Come on. That seemed like a little bit more of a smaller guy, how he kind of did some acrobatic stuff. Man, dude, these trout are feeding today. This many strikes on top.
There we go, trout on. Woo. Woo. That is a fighter. I might have him foul hooked. Because it feels weird. Oh, another nice little trout. Yeah, dude. Another respectable trout. I was kind of thinking after that boat went through that he kind of blew me out, but I guess not. These trout are sticking around. Yes, man. <laughs> man, trout four. Th this is just, this is awesome. It's all on top water. And it, man, those blow ups are just so awesome when you get a hookup like that. Uh, I'm gonna keep fishing it. I'm just gonna keep fishing. Just work this flat, find where they're at. Man, this is good stuff. All right, let's work on magic number five. Oh, that was a solid hit. Solid hit right there. Missed it, come on, come back. Dang, that was number five. <laughs> Oh, and there it is! <laughs> Sick, dude! Whoa! We got a turpin trout doing some acrobatics. Oh my gosh. This is just too fun, man. When the bite's like this, that is just too freaking awesome. Oh, dude. That is good. And that's a limit folks <laughs> all right guys so this morning was an insane insane trout bite i didn't get out here till 8 30 in the morning and it's now just 10 o'clock i'm happy you know i could go try and hit some more spots i really want to get some flounder um but since it's so early in the day and i already caught my fish i'm thinking that i'm gonna go ahead head back to the house wash up my gear clean these fish and I'm gonna bring you guys a catch and cook. So I'm just gonna head back to the launch and you guys stay tuned for that catch and cook coming right up. Cause I got high hopes, do you want the same? Cause baby all I got is high hopes, do you feel the same? Do you want me babe? Or is it just a game? Cause I got high hopes. Well guys, back at the house, it's only like 11.30, and I have a solid limit of trout right here. 16, 16, 16, 16, and a nice 20 incher right here. This guy's fat. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean him up, and then uh, I'll take you inside for the catch and cook. All right, guys, now that we're in the kitchen, let's get to cooking. So I've got my trout filet right here. I've got a couple seasonings. And you know my go-to for just a delicious catch and cook is some fish tacos. I haven't had one in a while, especially with some fresh fish. So I'm gonna throw on some chipotle seasonings, a little cumin, and then we're gonna throw this guy on the grill. sizzle is exactly what you want when you're getting those good sear marks. Now let's throw it in some tortillas. Cheesing it up. Of course you gotta have your greens. Throw it in some pico de gallo. You get that nice cilantro, onion, tomato, jalapeno mixture. And that's a wrap. Pun intended. I'm not even gonna go sit down to eat these. I'm just gonna stand and eat them because they look so good. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's a dang good lunch right there. Thank you guys for coming on an adventure. Smashing the trout this morning, getting home, cleaning the fish, cooking the fish, and then eating it. So, complete circle right there. I'll catch you next time.
Jo, schon.